Hey, this is my son Godzilla. Whoa. There's no need to be um, at first the song was originally gonna be called Rude. Look, there's no need to be rude because it was it was this song was supposed to be uh, about customers at work because everyone is so rude. So I came up with this. And basically, <clears throat> so I put in some uh, music theory type beat in my head and I decided, I was like, you know what, I could probably play it on the guitar. So from the notes I see, they're um, A sharp, F, G minor. Uh, D, D sharp, and back to F. But you could also play over here. It's pretty cool. And then I add a little simple beat. Yeah. A. So I already got the guitar and I got the little bass piano melody. And then I was like, you know what, why not just add like piano chords? So I just started, I just started playing. So mix it with everything, this is what it sounds like all together. So that's already the verses, just paste that twice and it sounds pretty cool. I change up the little like guitar um, picking pattern. So instead of playing, instead of plucking like dun dun dun, I started dun 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 dun, dun. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, it's a slight difference, I don't think anyone will notice but this part, this is like where I a little um, Pizzaco? I don't know, how do you say it? I'm too lazy to switch it up, but this is, I add this little part. Next you know, I thought I needed another melody that came with that. So I came up, I was playing my guitar and I was like, what if I just like EQ'd that crap out of my guitar and this is what I came up with. And this is what the pre-chorus sounds like. It's a very slight, like, melody that like, you hear if you pay close attention to it. But I think it sounds really cool. Of course, I have a little 808 bass because, ah, oh, exquisite. Ooh! Yay! I think it's also like how like people nowadays with music likes 808, so I decided to just throw it in there anyways. I changed up the beat a little bit. Uh, I found this little loop pattern. Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh huh. The verse two, I had, I decided to just to add like little trap beats, cause why not? I thought it sounded really cool. My favorite part right here is the. That's so loud. <laughs> the second chorus, I add like ad libs. What ad libs are is like if you're like singing in the background, you do like a that. The last chorus is filled with ad libs right here. Throughout the whole song, it's just same chords, but the vocal melodies are different. So I think it, it's pretty cool. But like, I made the bridge by accident. I didn't know what the bridge was gonna be. I was gonna change with the chords, because every song that I make, I change with the chords in the bridge. And I was like, you know, what if I do something creative? I wrote it down my notes on my phone somewhere. I wrote down the lyrics just like for the hell of it, and then I was like, you know what? Let me just record it. And this is what I came up with. I I think I'm either flat or sharp on that word, but I don't I, I don't mind to be honest. It's I added a harmonies and I thought it sounds it sound, I, I think it sounds really pretty. I'd rather be alone than to feel these Oh yeah, I added a synth. I forgot to mention that. The last chorus, so I also added like an intense like trap beat to it. I think it sounds really cool. It's very basic. But like I also layered that upon the original drum beat I had, the loop. And it sounds like that. It sounds really cool. I like it. I love this so much. Yeah, that's basically it throughout this whole song. I just decided to do it because this is like my favorite song I've ever made um, so far. But I'm glad everyone likes it. This is what the original sound like.
Ooh, flat, honey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, song. I have a little fun quarantine song that you guys made. I don't know. I'm going to be very active with this account, but deuces.